Hello everybody, it's Games Galore. I'm back again with another video. This is going to be a relatively quick video on how to install and use Arma 3 Sync. So, first of all, you're going to want to download a couple of things, uh, assuming you don't already have them. So, one of them is going to be, of course, Arma 3 Sync. Uh, you're going to want to click on that. Uh, or rather, I'll leave a link in the description below to Arma 3 Sync itself. Um, you can click on that link and it'll direct you to the Armaholic website. And then you're just going to simply want to click down here to download the launcher. I already have it downloaded, so it's not going to show up for me. Uh, and then there's one, oh, the, and then there's two other programs you can choose between one or the other that you're going to need. It's either going to be 7-Zip. Which you can download at this website. I'll leave a link to it. Or WinRAR. Which you can download at this website. I will once again leave a link to it. Um, WinRAR has a 40 day free trial. And then you have to purchase it. I'd just like to point that out. It's not a free program. However there's a bunch of extra features that you get with it. That I personally love. So I use WinRAR. But WinRAR and 7-Zip. Uh, it's pretty much the same the premise is the same so yeah I'll leave a link to both of these websites in the description so like I said you can choose between the two now you're gonna want to navigate to wherever you downloaded uh, or not my mistake hold on Okay, you're going to want to navigate to wherever you downloaded Arma 3 Sync, um, and you should get this, a folder similar to this, it should be, or, <laughs> you should get a folder similar to this, and it'll be either a 7-zip or a RAR folder, depending on which program you have installed. You're simply going to want to click, you're going to want to double click it, and drag and drop it onto the desktop, which will extract it. Once you've extracted it, simply double click, click yes, and then you're going to want to click next, I accept, choose where you want to download it, I've already got the program installed, so I'm going to install it onto this drive. Hold on, I did something wrong. There we go. Uh, choose whether or not you want to create a start menu folder. I'm going to say no, because like I said, I've got the program installed. And then choose whether you'd like to create a desktop icon or not. I'm going to once again say no, because I've got it installed. Then you're going to want to launch on with 3 sync. And it should ask you to set your Armor 3 executable location. Now, you're going to want to navigate to my computer or this PC. Go to wherever you've got Armor 3 installed. Which for me is going to be my E drive, games, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Armor 3. And I've got a bunch of mods in here, so you can ignore those. And then I'm going to choose my Armor3.exe. That's my Armor3 executable. Open. Press OK. And it should load the mods you've already got downloaded. Now, you've selected your executable. And you have some sort of repository that you want to download from. As a really quick, as an example... I'm going to use uh, AFO Reapers repository, which is the new Milsim unit I'm in. I'll leave a link to the website in the description so you guys can check it out if you guys want to join. I'm going to right click, copy link address, minimize it. And then this is where we get into the functional use of the Armor 3 sync. So, 
I have the repository, the autoconfig repository. So now I'm going to right click, I'm um, not right click, I'm going to left click, add a new repository. But I'm going to paste the repository autoconfig URL, import it. It should connect and then say connection and success. You can change the name if you'd like to, but I'm going to leave it as default. Then you're going to press OK. It should say synchronizing. You're going to want to left click, click down here where it says connect to repository. Let it check for the add ons that are in the repository. And then it should default to your ARMA 3 sync, um, your ARMA 3 sync, uh, I can't, I can't speak right now, your ARMA 3 sync, uh, ARMA 3 sync folder, not ARMA 3 sync, ARMA 3, uh, folder. Can't speak today. Anyways. Then you want to, then any of the black ones are ones you've already got, so you don't have to download those, but I would recommend just downloading them anyways, uh, just to make sure, so you want to click select all. Then you're going to want to click the play button here, and it should start the download. Now, since I've already got all of these mods downloaded, I'm not going to do it. But, once you've downloaded all the mods, you do not want to close this. You're going to want to leave it open, and you'll see why in a minute. So you finish downloading your mods, and they're all in your Armor 3 folder. You're going to want to open up your Armor 3 launcher. Wait for it to load. Click Mods. And then this is where you want to load the mod. So you're going to want to click local mod. And then in your in the folder, you're going to want to use this as a guide. So all the things that are in the Arma 3 sync right here, you're going to want to find the exact same folder names in your Arma 3 directory. This will allow you to know exactly what folders to choose. And you don't have to choose them one by one. You can control click on them. So I'm just going to grab a couple of them as an example. So I'm going to say this folder, control click. See how I pressed control and I selected another one? And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that for all the ones that are here. And I'm not going to actually do that just because, like I said, it's an example. But you're going to want to go through and find all the ones that have these names exactly in the ARM3 directory. Then you're going to want to click select folder. And then you should see load mod down here. If you don't, that's okay. Simply scroll through your available mods. And once again, using this as a guide, select the mods that are in there. So I'm just going to choose a couple of random ones. All right. Now that you've done that, you're probably going to want to save it. So you click over here, save as. Give it a name, and then click the check. It's not going to be saved under that. So anytime you want to use the mods, just make sure you've got that preset selected and click play. Now if you want to play without the mods, simply click this arrow, and click play without mods, and it'll launch Vanilla Arma 3. Other than that, guys, I don't have anything else to show you. If you've got any questions, feel free to add me on Steam and ask me there, or leave a comment below. Um, I am with a new unit. I'm no longer with the NSIB. I'm with uh, AFO Reaper. And I'll make sure I leave a link to our website below. Um, and once again, if you're interested, if you need any help with Arma 3 Sync, like I said, add me on Steam and ask me questions there. Or leave a comment. Same thing with AFO Reaper. If you're interested in joining... Add me on Steam or go to our website and, you know, say something there. Um, other than that, guys, I've got nothing else for you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening.